Hello. Here's another video about solving two equations or trying to find the place, the point of intersection between the lines generated by these two equations. So I've shown you a couple other videos that I've posted here on YouTube where we're solving these equations, we're graphing them, we're doing it algebraically, we want to find where the lines cross in one of the cases the lines ended up being parallel which was kind of a special case when the lines were parallel they didn't cross anywhere so the answer was no solution well this is another special case uh, that you'll see here but we'll get to that in a minute let's start by solving this like we didn't realize that this was a special case so just like any other pair of equations that we're trying to solve if we're doing this by graphing let's just start with this one over here we notice this is in slope intercept form. The two is our slope, the one is our y intercept. So we'll start with our y intercept. So we go to our y axis. We go one unit up the y axis because our y intercept is one and that will be our starting point. Where does our line go from here? Well, that's what our slope is going to tell us. If we write two as a fraction, we would write two over one. And that's useful to remember because slope is rise over run. So now we know a slope of two means we're going to go up two units and one to the right. Up two units, one to the right. And we can keep doing that over and over and over, creating this line uh, that is generated by this equation. So let's start at this point here. Our y-intercept is one, and let's use this slope of two. 2 over 1. So we're going to go up 2 units, 1, 2, 1 unit to the right. Let's go up 2 units, 1, 2, and 1 to the right. And there's our uh, a couple points on our line. That's really all we need to get out the ruler and to draw this line. So I'm going to line things up here and connect those with a point or with a line, and there we go. So there's our line generated by this equation, y is equal to 2x plus 1. All right, let's graph the next one. First thing we notice is you've got some fractions in this equation. Let's simplify those a little bit. So we'll rewrite the equation. y is equal to 4 divided by 2, of course, is 2, and... 3 divided by 3 is a pretty easy fraction. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. And so now our new equation is y is equal to 2x plus 1. Red flag. That's the same as this equation over here. We've got, we're graphing the same equation twice. It's going to have the same y-intercept right there. The slope is still 2. We'll go up 2 units over 1. Up 2 units over 1 the line is going to be exactly the same right there. So these are two equations that create the exact same line. Now before we write our answer, we have to remember what does it mean when we are trying to solve two equations. We are trying to find the place where these two lines meet. We're trying to find the place where these two lines touch. In most cases, you'll have two intersecting lines that will meet at just one single point. In this case, this, these lines touch in every single point imaginable. If you pick this point, it touches both lines. If you pick this point, it touches both lines. This point touches both lines. Any point you make anywhere along these lines, any point will touch both lines. So in reality, you can put an infinite number of points down and they those all of those points would touch both lines. So the answer then is what is the solution to these two equations? Where do these two lines meet? The answer is infinitely many solutions. Infinite many solutions. We could have infinitely many points along this line, these lines I should say, that would touch both. 
So there isn't just one place, there are an infinite number of possibilities, so we can't really get any more detail than that. Infinitely many solutions is our answer. What if you were solving algebraically? So on a graph you would notice, oh yeah, I'm just graphing the same line twice. What if you were going to try to solve the same two equations algebraically? Well, you've got these two equations here. We want to know where they meet, so we set them equal to one another. So 2x plus 1, that equation there, is equal to this equation here. 4 divided by 2x plus 3 over 3. Before we get too far, let's simplify those fractions just like we did before. So 2x plus 1 is equal to 4 divided by 2 is 2. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And we can already see that we've got the same thing on both sides, but let's carry it all the way out. We're this far. Let's see what happens. We want to get the letters on one side, the numbers on the other side, so let's get rid of this 2x, move it over here. Minus 2x, and whatever we do to the one side, we need to do the other side, minus 2x. The 2x's cancel, leaving us with 1 equals 1, and in this case here, 1 of course does equal 1, and so that's a red flag. That's not a normal solution here. Normally we end up with something like x equals 5 or x equals negative 10. 1 equals 1 is kind of a strange conclusion here to reach when you have these two equations. So that makes us think, hey, wait a minute, let's go back up here and look. And then if you haven't noticed by now, hopefully you will then realize, okay, 4 over 2 equals 2. We've got the same slopes. And 3 over 3 equals 1, we have the same y-intercept. If we have the same slopes and the same y-intercept, these must be exactly the same equations. If they're the same equations, it would draw two overlapping lines, and so the answer then is infinitely many solutions. That is our answer to this problem. Infinitely many solutions. Two special cases. One where uh, the lines are the same, infinitely many solutions. Uh, the other special case was shown in a different video where the lines actually have the same slope. They're parallel, but different y-intercepts. In that case, there was no solution. But in this case, infinitely many solutions, so hopefully You'll remember that next time you see that in one of your homework problems.